one of the things that you talk about, especially recently, is self-awareness, which is a perfect time to talk about finding your passion, but being self-aware and how important that is to finding passion and making the decision on moving forward and how to do that. Look, I mean, I wish that I could win on my looks, but I don't, right? Like, we, we, you have to know what you're gonna win on. And too many people want to be a pop singer or a comedian or a pretty face model, and it's just not who they are. Yeah. And too many of you are leaving enormous upside on the table by trying to force a narrative that's romantic in your mind versus what you actually have. Yeah. I could do so many more things to build up my following, but it's not who I am. I know the hacking ways to get more followers, to get more people to know who I am, but I'm a businessman that happens to like understand content a little bit, so I'm never gonna be followed by the most, but I'm also, that means, not gonna sell things I don't believe in. Yeah. So if you follow all the other entrepreneurs on Instagram, they're selling watches and cash on bed and models and bottles and private planes, and I don't sell that. Yeah. Because I don't wanna get the cheap followers or the cheap engagement. Yep. And so when you really are self-aware, when you really know who you are, what it allows you to do is stay in your lanes, not do other things, I can't produce the kind of videos that my buddy Casey can, yeah, right? Yeah. I can't, like it's just not who I am.